This is a problem concerning conditional probabilities, and I want to show you how to do it using StatCrunch. We are given the results of a survey of men and women about how much money they have in savings. The first question asks us to find the probability of a randomly selected worker having one or more months of savings. First, let's open StatCrunch and enter the data. Here I've labeled the columns men and women and the rows less than one month, one or more months. I also entered the values 65 and 83 in the first row and 77 and 61 in the second row. Click on Stat, Tables, Contingency with Summary. And that brings up this dialog box. In the Select Columns box, we tell StatCrunch where our data is. Let's click on Men, hold down the Shift key, and Women, because that's where the numbers are. And then in the Row Labels, we click on Savings, because that's where our row titles are. And then in the Display, we click on Row Percent, hold down the Shift key, Column Percent, and Percent of Total. Then we click on Compute. We get this contingency table results. The cell format box shows us what we have in each cell of the results table. We have the count, the row percent is the second number, the third number is the column percent, and the fourth number is the percent of total. The first question asks the probability of a randomly selected worker having one or more months of savings. In the one or more months row, that's what we're concerned with, we're given that, we look at the far right cell and we have 138 people, that's the count, in this category of the total of 286 people in the survey. The percent of total is the last number in this cell, 48.25%, are stated as a probability, 0.483. The second question is, given that a randomly selected worker is male, find the probability that the worker has less than one month's income. We are interested in the men's column, and we want to know the proportion of the total number of men who have less than one month's savings. We can get that by looking at the column percent in that cell. That's the third number, 45.77%, or as a probability, 0.458. The last question is, Given that a randomly selected worker has one month's income or more, find the probability that the worker is a female. We are given one or more months, so our answer has to be in this row. And in this column, the female column or the women's column, we look at the row percent, which is the second number, 44.2%. Convert that to a probability and we get 0.442. And really, that's all you need to do to calculate any of the various conditional probabilities associated with a, this particular survey or any survey that you can put in tabular form.